After 9-11, business boom boom boom. Blackwater is a sleek, glossy, fast-moving sports car in the world of private security companies. Blackwater is one of the largest and most conspicuous security firms in Iraq, staffed largely by retired U.S. military, including former members of the Special Forces. They started off as a training facility. They offered range space, they trained sportsmen, they sold target systems. Five years ago, they were just about to go under, and um, then this Iraq war started. Business boomed. Blackwater is the brainchild of camera-shy, multi-millionaire Eric Prince. Eric Prince is the son of a wealthy industrialist who made his fortune with the lighted visor for cars. Prince himself is a former Navy SEAL. On a carrier, he saw how peacekeeping operations were conducted. He thought he had a better idea. He could privatize some of those things. He called the company Blackwater because of the, the waters that ran through the creek stained with tannins. And there's also bears on the property, so he used the bear paw and the sniper scope. Eric Prince, the owner of the company's family, has long been well connected. They have access to a lot of Republicans that are in the Senate and House, and probably to the President. You know, the family's kind of well known for backing kind of conservative causes. A big Republican contributor whose company has won more than $80 million worth of contracts from the U.S. government. We have gone beyond the legitimate use of these people to use them as stopgap measures where you get into real legal and ethical and moral questions. Hey, all these fuckers right here. Uh, a convoy of Blackwater vehicles uh, uh, passed the vehicle, and the first one kicked it off the road, and the last one, as it passed it uh, by, shot the man in the vehicle and put a hundred rounds hey, roughly right in the in the vehicle. Uh, it turned out the man just finished dropping off his two sons uh, at one of our bases, Taji, uh, because they were part of the Iraqi uh, National Guard. So there's a certain amount of irony uh, in that because obviously the, the man was not a threat. The contractors were not under the control of the military. They were given far greater latitude and they were allowed to do whatever they want. Certainly that did not do much for the American image. That did not win the hearts and minds of the Islamic community. Fucking niggers. The company says it can assemble hundreds of battle-ready men, a small private army at a moment's notice. To have a private army, that's a frightening concept and one that really, I hope, you know, doesn't take hold in this country. Are we training a group of people back here that is a black army? Such a possibility of being so out of control with no checks and balances, there's just no limit to what could happen with that kind of organization and with the kind of training that they have. He's taking cover, you got more coming. Jesus Christ, if I can fucking take you. Dozens of families fought hard to keep Blackwater USA from building a new firing range less than 2,000 feet from their backyard. Blackwater USA, based in Moyoc, North Carolina, wants to expand. They just built a brand new headquarters. 8,000 square feet in the original building, 64,000 square feet here. Blackwater has recruited key individuals from the government, and now Blackwater is getting key governmental contracts. You do the math. Uh, certainly we've left room for growth. Growth, because Taylor believes Blackwater has a bright future. There's opportunities all over the world. I mean, there shouldn't be any private armies. 
That's just asking for trouble. When we express our concern to the commissioners, then they turn around and call us unpatriotic. And we're patriotic to the core. They're not going anywhere. They've gotten too big, and they basically do as they please. Wartime demands allow them to expand. Wartime demands allow them to expand. Wartime demands allow them to expand.